Welcome to one of the most important games in my life. One of the first games I ever played, Doom 2. Released just like 10 months after the first game. It's the definition of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Pretty much everything that can be said about Doom 1 applies to Doom 2. Pretty much all it adds is a number of new enemies, a single new weapon, a slightly improved engine, and of course, 32 whole new levels. Joining me here is Thornbrain and Torpid Typist from the last LP. Doom Doom. Doom Doom. <laughs> and of course, the first thing you gotta say, it's not a secret, but do not forget to walk behind you to get the chainsaw right there at the beginning. I did appreciate you shoving that chainsaw directly up that man's ass. Oh, of course. That's the only way to start Doom 2. I feel like, not quite secret-wise, but in terms of aesthetics and that chainsaw in particular, I'm more familiar with the first level of Doom 2 than Doom 1, because, of course, I, I probably played it dozens of times when I was four years old, because I was four. I probably didn't get far. <laughs> I probably just played my dad's file most of the time. I wonder why you're so violent. So yes, as I said, Doom 2, so you can tell right off the bat that it's extremely similar to Doom 1. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, I do recommend you give our Doom 1 LP a watch because pretty much everything I say in regards to the enemies and the weapons, to my knowledge, there's been little to no tweaking of any of them in this game. So it all applies the same way and I'm not really going to be repeating myself much. So I do recommend you watch that LP first if you're just joining us for this one. That does raise the question, you played Ultimate Doom, which had an additional episode at the end. Did they do anything with that episode to make it more clearly tie in with the intro of this, or was it just additional levels? It seems to be just additional levels. It's hard to really have the canon of Doom, especially the original two games, tie into each other. So it's not like we jumped in that hole at the end of Thy Flesh Consumed and we ended up here. Essentially, the invasion of from hell on Earth is still going on. This game's subtitle is actually Hell on Earth. It's not on the title screen, but it is the full title is officially Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Given that 2 is so similar to 1, it sure is nice that 3 was such a departure. It's refreshing. It really was. I mean, it took like 10 years to get there, but Doom 3 was <laughs> extremely different. So the underhauls, this level is super interesting to me because it took 20 years for this level to be beaten on an ultraviolence pacifist run. Because on ultraviolence, again, I'm playing on Hurt Me Plenty. I've mentioned before that I regret that. There's just so many enemies and so many shotgunners and pistol boys. It's nearly impossible to get out of here without fucking killing everything. But they keep walking into the wall. How are they a threat? Oh, uh, trust me. In numbers, they'll enough of them will figure out what they're doing. Oh, look at that. The infinite monkeys principle. Yeah, exactly. Boom, boom. Here is Doom 2's singular new weapon. The super shotgun. The most satisfying boom and chick chick you'll ever hear. My baby. So you have my baby. It tears through everything. Groups of weak enemies are torn to shreds with by this thing. It almost entirely replaces the original shotgun, but it does use two shells per shot, and its long range is not nearly as good. So, but let's face it, you're rarely going to be using your regular shotgun anymore. This thing is, it is definitely overpowered, but it's overpowered in the most fun way. Does the reload animation actually matter? Like, or is it just automatically reloaded? It does automatically reload. That's another downside of it. The reload animation is longer, so it takes longer to get to your next shot. So if you're being overwhelmed, it may not be the best weapon for that situation. I will have you know it is the best weapon for any fucking situation. Mostly, yeah. <laughs> Like, I tried to downplay, like, oh, there are the, all the, the other weapons are good, and, and they are. Trust me, I, I'm not going to be exclusively using the super shotgun. But in terms of shotguns, I'll be exclusively using this. <laughs> the super shotgun is strong and my friend. Like cacodemons, and uh, they'll be meeting eventually. I love the meatball. 
That meatball. <laughs> the meatball created by the explosive beetle. Now this pit down here is where the pacifist runs get real nasty. <laughs> this room is just filled to the brim with them on higher difficulties. I'm trying to get through here to get to the keys and get out of here without killing anything is absolutely ridiculous. It's just so weird to me because it's the second level, but it was one of the last ones to be completed on UV Pacifist. It's not that long either. It doesn't need to be. No. Still didn't make par though. Yeah. Now for the gantlet. <laughs> it's <laughs> gantlet. I, I is gantlet a word different from gauntlet, or is that they just not spell that right? I think it's right? an error. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a fuck up. Looking it up just in case. Yeah. Gantlet. Go through an intimidating or dangerous crowd, place, or experience in order to reach a goal. So, uh, yeah, I guess. Like that. Huh. <laughs> I still refuse to believe it's a word. Kind of like how I'm going through those multiple zombies with one shot of the sh fucking super shotgun. It's so dumb. Getting a good look at that impasse. Yeah, he's infighting for me. We're good. He's my bud. I killed him, but he wasn't going fast enough. I hope you understand. The enemy of my enemy. And everybody's enemy. The first of our new enemies, the heavy weapon dude, more commonly known as the chain gunner, the bane of every Doom player's existence. God, these guys, in large numbers, can kill you in a matter of seconds. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like there's a worse enemy that appears later, but... Okay. All right, I'm gonna If I'm just, gonna be honest. I'm just gonna... Here's my opinion on every new enemy in Doom. I... Pretty much all of them share three common traits. One, I love them. Two, I hate them. Three, <laughs> I cannot imagine Doom without them. No matter how annoying I am, I am grateful for every new enemy in this game because they add so much in terms of mechanics and strategy. So as much as I fucking hate Chain Gunners, I'm really glad they were added. They do also look like Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. Oh my God, you're totally right. <laughs> I, I have no idea how I didn't realize that before. Definitely not as strong as Nemesis. I don't know how I realized that. I don't play Resident Evil. And I've only played one and four. I played five, six in the two remake. Also seven. Oh, those are all the best ones. I OK, so the two remake was really good. Seven is good. Five is fun in co-op and six is a trash fire. <laughs> Actually, no, the first one I ever played was Code Veronica, which is a great starting point. Yeah, I heard that game was good. No. Oh, it's, it's not? No, oh, whatever. Not a good starting point. Poor thing was having stomach trouble. Well, I put it out of its misery. This Doom guy is a very merciful man. To be fair, most demons are probably living in awful pain. Or at least were caused awful pain to get to this point. Now nah, I'm sure they live lovely, fruitful lives. And that fruit is durian. <laughs> I, I just like to... Uh, pardon me, I opened the console for some reason there. Um, I just like to imagine, like, demon societies not too different from human ones. Obviously in the Doom universe, that's definitely not the case, but... I just like to imagine hell just has like cities and suburbs and shit. Just maybe not the happiest. Just the the imp putting on his coat, kissing his cacodemon wife goodbye, hopping his nice car, leaving the suburbs for work. Ah, what a life. Falling into a lava pit. So if it wasn't obvious, Doom 2 is a bit of a departure from Doom 1 in terms of its structure. It does it is no longer episodic. It is actually it is episodic like spiritually, but it's not split up into literal episodes like Doom 1 was. It's one long what they call a megawatt, I suppose. Instead of several <laughs> nine level episodes, it's one big 32 level episode. So you get to play through the entire game without losing your weapons or anything, implying you don't die. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, I t 
To be honest, I really liked the episodic structure. Oh, let's go ahead and save because I'm not sure if there's a way to get out of there. There we go. <laughs> Give it eBay. This man's music feels like a real departure. Doom 2's music is whack. Like, I will bring them up. I will definitely bring them up when they come. But there are a lot more obvious plagiarism songs in this game. <laughs> Doom 1 had a few. It's like, okay, this sounds kind of like it. And then there's the Pantera song, which is like a direct rip. There's one song we'll get to later that even has the chorus in it. So I will, I will be pointing that song out when we get to it. It's a little ways down the road, though. Doom has only the finest quality rips. I did recently watch a video like comparing real life songs to Doom songs. The one from the first episode, it was compared to Hangar 18 by Megadeth. Uh, I kind of saw it. It just instead of like multiple strums of the chord, it was just like one long one. But it wasn't like dir a direct rip or anything. We'll get to the direct rips. Now I'm just thinking about how much I like the Doom 2016 soundtrack. Oh, it's beautiful. We're not there yet, so we gotta enjoy the beautiful MIDI sounds of, uh... I'm blanking on the composer's name. Hold up. These cool MIDI jams. Doom really loves its chain gun- look, look at my health. <laughs> that is pure chain gunner right there. Robert Prince, or Bobby Prince. That's That was the composer of the first two Doom games. So we gotta enjoy him before we get to Mr. Mick Gordon. Goddamn, if he doesn't do good work, though. Mick Gordon, that is. But Bobby Prince does good, too. <laughs> he made E1M1, dude. You can't... I give, know. Even though it was a rip of a Metallica slash Suicidal Tendencies slash several other songs because that riff isn't actually that uncommon, it's still iconic. No, no, this stuff's good. Hi. Okay, I wonder if you made par this time. I doubt it. There's quite a bit of cutting there. Nope. Not, that was close enough, I guess. You were off by a minute, which isn't too bad. No. Oh. Ah, the waste tunnels. My home. <laughs> Please don't mind the decorum, I'm not used to, uh, the guests. Well, it's pretty clean, gotta say. But a surprising lack of waste. You just gotta know where to look. Plenty of dropping imp pits, though. I just hit it all under the couch. Is this the couch? Do not touch the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it will bite back. Doom 2's level design is a lot more complicated than the first one, and the later levels really take advantage, for better or worse, of the improved <laughs> engine because it is capable of making much larger, much more open levels. This qu isn't quite that, quite yet. We don't get that point until about the second third of the game. But this level's still pretty large, and it it's but it's definitely more comparable to a Doom 1 level, still. I remember um, I, I discovered this YouTuber recently, Civi11. He does a lot of videos on old shooter games, mostly. He said that the first third of Doom 2 is kind of just more Doom. But once you get to a certain point, it becomes its whole own experience. And I definitely agree with that. Right now, we're just kind of into the more Doom territory. Doom 2, Doom harder. Still dooming. And congrats on shooting those corpses, though. You're a good shot. Hey, thanks. Ah, they're all corpses when you think about it, so they're just part of my targets. The real corpses were the friends we made along the way. You no longer have friends. <laughs> Lost souls are back. I remember in Doom 1 where I said they, were, they got progressively more annoying in every game. We'll get to why in, a, I believe, the next episode. 
suck ass pretty hard in every game. They do, but Doom 2 makes you appreciate Doom 1's use of Lost Souls. Also, if you weren't convinced of the power of the super shotgun, as you can see, it one-shots pinkies. Makes them near useless. Hey. Who's in there? Here we go. God, the darkness is killing me, though. But you must confess you still believe. <laughs> Thank you. God damn it. <laughs> Thornton Thor Spears? That just sounds like Thornton Spears. Never mind. <laughs> Close enough. It's Coach Z's version of Thotney Spears. I love that wait, though, where you just don't know what to do with yourself as you sit there for a few seconds. Like, is it going up? <laughs> Hugging the wall. Please let me in. Doom guy's gonna limbo under here. Here's our powerful friends again. That's a spicy meatball. That's a sprint backwards to get away from it. Meatball. So I believe those, at least one or two of those little open areas are secrets. But there are specters down there that can infinitely vertically block your path. So you gotta either kill them first or watch it. Oh, there they are. It is our exit, but I think we have a few secrets left. Let's go get them. Over here... I believe this is a rather tough secret to find on your first go. But the reward is delicious. A bit of health? No. Oh, there we go. Gotta lower this wall, come in here, and already we got ourselves a plasma rifle. Very early. I suppose that since you're going to be keeping your weapons for the whole game, they may as well give them all to you early. We have everything except the BFG already, and it's like the fourth level. I would have thought they'd have spread them out more. Yeah, I think they implied that you've already played Doom. So you're like, you know what the fuck you're doing. Here, have everything. We're still going to try and kick your ass, though. I'd say Doom 2 is a fair bit harder than Doom 1. It definitely feels like a, a like almost a preaching to the converted type deal. Like, you know Doom, you've played Doom, here's more Doom. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, unless you're literally too young to have played the first Doom like I was when I played Doom 2, I don't think this made too many more Doom fans. This just kind of solidified existing ones. And believe it or not, here's our next new enemy, the Hell Knights. They're just recolored barons of hell with slightly less health. They even do the same amount of damage. And they're having a party. They are. Since we are playing on Hurt Me Plenty, though, I'm very glad they're here. On Ultra Violence and above, these four Hell Knights are replaced with a Spider Mastermind. But that's okay, because this level's called the Crusher, and, well, here's the Crusher. And it's crushing. And on higher difficulties, you get to crush a Spider Mastermind. Even more so than you did in the last game. Eventually. And that does sound pretty satisfying. <laughs> okay, stepping under it does stop the Crusher. And if you didn't get the plasma rifle in the last level secret, here it is again. How useful. Oh yeah, I guess when you think about it, yeah, that last secret wasn't that useful. He just got the plasma rifle like half a level earlier. Yes, to be fair, you could have gotten it much earlier than you did in that level, but... Yeah, that's why I said half a level. I got it at the end of the level, but he definitely could have gotten it earlier if you knew where everything was. Which I donut. Delicious. Demon donut. So tasty, it's sinful. I feel like Doom 2 also uses verticality a lot more, like being able to leap across gaps and such to get to other platforms. I wouldn't call it platforming, I would just call it more vertical maneuverability. Yeah, definitely a lot more verticality, which is uh, nice. It feels like, yeah, that they had a better idea of what they were working with with the engine. Yeah. I feel like with Thy Flesh Consumed, even though it was made after Doom 2 on Doom 1, 
they still limited themselves to try to stay within the level design of Doom 1, which is interesting. It's almost like, I guess the one comparison I can make is like making Mario 1 levels in Mario Maker when you're used to making them in the other level types. That's not entirely accurate, but that's what I'm going with. It's it's a contemporary example. It's fine. The kids will understand. They're Mario kids. They're not allowed to watch this. It's true, we've already said fuck more than once. Only I am allowed to play Doom when I'm four. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. When I was little, I played fucking Leisure Suit Larry Love for Sale, so... Jeez. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a bit more up there than Doom. Yeah, exactly. It explains a lot, really. We're about to reach another new enemy. Behind that wall, we got the big boners. Yeah! They're called Revenants. The Revenants! They're so good! They are annoying as shit. Possibly the ones I'm most annoyed with. Nope, never mind. We haven't reached that one yet. But they're up there. Yeah, we haven't reached the annoying one yet. So, weird fun fact. They're the only enemy with two attack animations. If you get close to them, they will punch you. But their main attack is fireballs they shoot out of their shoulders. Depending on the game tick you're on, they will home in on you. And these fuckers can turn on a dime. You really have to shake them off if they're homing on you. In large numbers, they're pains in the ass. Skeleton owls. Yeah. Man, it's fine, we still haven't encountered the worst enemy introduced. Not yet. Well, depends on your definition of worst. I feel like any Doom 2 player could call any of the new enemies the worst. There's one specific one that's fucking foul. Oh, fucker. Fucker! It was one of the reasons I was very angry when I saw promotional material for Doom Eternal. <laughs> Again, I, I, in, in my opinion, there are like two enemies you could be talking about. But we'll get to them, because, again, I hate them and love them both. So, I remember in Doom 1, I mentioned how much I liked Thy Flesh Consumed's approach to difficulty, because in what many consider to be the more difficult Doom wads, they like to just throw a million of the most annoying enemies at you and then say go. The main enemies I was referring to were the Chain Gunner and the Revenant. Especially with Final Doom, one of the one of its episodes, the Plutonia Experiment, which is easily the most difficult officially released Doom game. They just love just trapping you with chain gunners and revenants up the ass. And it's I I cannot stand that kind of level design. Megas oh, here's a new item. The Megasphere. It is just a Fucking beefed up supercharge. It gets you automatically to 200% armor and health. It just looked like it was chewing gum with its mouth open, which is <laughs> disgusting. It's pretty gross, but I bet it tastes good. I doubt it. Beef gum. Oh, you. <laughs> I take back what I said a second ago. <laughs> That's just a bad steak. What flavors would appeal to demons? Um, raw beef, I would say. I think that's what they're made of. I can't believe demons are made of raw beef. That's why they're so easy to cut through with a chainsaw. Even the humans, paradoxically. <laughs> So I said that Doom 2 is cut into episodes spiritually. Every chunk of the game, you do still get a little text blurb here, so I suppose you could call this the end of the first episode. Alright, so right now, the majority of the population of the Earth is trying to escape the demon invasion by going into space, but demon's magic, I guess, is stopping them from doing so. So our next goal is to get through, like, the demon's outposts so that we can turn that off, I guess, so that all the rest of the humans can escape. Also, the demons kind of came from space. True. Well, they 
Hmm. They came from hell. At least they got here from space. True. From Phobos, but yeah. Yeah, from through portals, though. So I imagine they could also make portals to Earth if they wanted to. Or jump. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> jump. That is a hilarious thought. <laughs> you say the Barons of Hell and the Pinkies. They got legs. They do. They got legs. They got those like... They got glutes. They got those animal-like legs that can... <laughs> Just the thought of them crouching down as low as they can go and just going, Boing. and like a team rocket twinkle in Mars' sky, <laughs> supermaning their way to Earth. <laughs> Sounds foul. Dun, 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 you're getting fucked up. <laughs> what if they came singing too? <laughs> God, no! It's like fucking Final Fantasy VIII when the moon bleeds onto the planet and it's just made of monsters. The moon. Ble okay. As we're recording this, I'm playing the original Final Fantasy VII. I'm I'm immediately confused by what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Every word of it's true. I'll get to that one next. I I guess. <laughs> Here we come to kill you all. I thought you said to kill your wife. <laughs> to kill your wife. <laughs> I, I think wife is is under all, but you know I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are to kill you all, except for your wife. We'll kill your rabbit, but not your wife. She makes good cookies. Look, my wife ain't got shit on Daisy, okay? This is off the wall. 